Okay, we are on tip number 12, and this is one of my favorite tips. It also sounds weird, it might take some work to set it up, but this tip for overcoming imposter syndrome is to talk to a classroom of children. My name is Dr. Stephanie Shuttler, I'm a wildlife biologist, and my channel is about empowering scientists and inspiring people to conserve the natural world. As a scientist, when I was in graduate school, I had this amazing opportunity to participate in the GK12 program. It was a program funded by the National Science Foundation that paired um, students, graduate students, with K through 12 teachers in the classroom. And we were to create lesson plans um, involving our real research so students could learn about real science. And during this time, I was close to graduating. I was really deep into my thesis, my research. Honestly, I was kind of depressed. Things weren't happening the way that I wanted them to. I worked on non-invasive genetics of elephant dung, actually. So I had a lot of samples that weren't working. I had so many deadlines with writing. I was you know, trying to wrap up with graduate school. My analysis programs weren't working. I just was like in a negative state. And I can remember the very first time I went to this classroom and told the kids that I study elephant genetics, their social structure using genetics, using their poop. They just like thought this was the coolest thing in the world. And I took a step back and I'm like, this is super cool. Why am I so cranky about this? I'm doing some really cool, important work. And they just asked like the coolest questions, uh, great questions that like some of them were like really out there I never thought of. And it just put me in such a great mood. So you can reach out to teachers in your local area, see if you can visit a classroom, see if you can do it in um, maybe like a library or with a nonprofit as well. There is a great resource for scientists online. It's called Skype a Scientist. I will put it in the description. And yeah, see if you can talk to a classroom, they will make you feel so much better. You also do not have to be like the expert. You can totally be in graduate school and, and talk to students. They don't care if you've been in this field for 20 years or two years. You are an expert to them. Okay, great, we have one more tip. So make sure you don't miss it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you for tip number 13. Bye.